What's up, guys? Come in here, sit down and shut the door. We have to talk. William? Oh, my God. Where do I start? There's so much news. Okay. Kate's friends have come out and said the divorce is imminent. But what's more, William is now starting to say that, get this, they were fighting and having problems prior to her getting sick, and he's blaming it on her parents. You guys, that is groundbreaking because there's a few things that are going on with this narrative. One, he sees the way the public opinion was like, you cannot leave a sick woman. What are you talking about? So now he's trying to lay the blame on the issues going on for parents. If you guys don't know, her parents were exposed as being broke joke frauds, which leads me to my next thing. A lot of people blame Camilla at that time for what was going on, okay? They blamed Camilla, saying she was trying to put Kate in her place, ara, ara, ara. But the thing is, a lot of people are like, that doesn't make sense because what would Camilla be served doing this? They was to say to punish Kate for her showing up in a crown uh, for the coronation, but William keeps Kate on a tight leash, or so the royals say. It never made sense because if you're like, if you're punishing Kate, why aren't you punishing William? Now, given all these reports that are out, people are actually saying that William was the one that released the information about Kate's family to embarrass her and to start literally putting distance between him and the Middletons. So when he divorced Kate, he could say they were a bunch of broke joke grifters. Now, here's the thing. They actually might be. The people where they live in Buckleberry or Huckleberry Inn actually think they are. But do you see how, according to all these sources, everything is coming together, even though it is going to fail horribly because you guys, William is, is an absolute psycho. You guys, why I was reporting on this and I found the story, they released photos of William having the time of his life playing ping pong and laughing and joking with school children. This is utter madness. Do you understand the psychosis, the narcissism, the, the sheer, like, just being unaware, but the ego involved? The world thinks you did something to your wife. We think you deleted your wife. We are genuinely, we don't even care about Kate as a person because nobody really knows her. We only know what she represents. But we think something seriously happened to your wife and we want proof of life. And you show up laughing, joking. Ha ha ha, my, uh, my wife's the artsy one. Sir, you look like an absolute psycho. You look like 30 minutes into a serial killer movie. You look psychotic. What? Mm -hmm. What is going on? What is going on? We think you've seriously done something with your wife. Hurt her. Driven her crazy. At the very least, she is in her own private hell. One which she is not free to interact with those from the outside world. And you're playing ping pong, laughing, decorating cookies as if your wife is not missing. As if there are a, not a million articles that your camp is putting out. Talking trash about your wife, letting her be publicly humiliated to accept a mistake that you first came out and said you did, all the while protecting your mistress? Jesus, what? William is an absolute psycho. You know, I always, with that Meghan Markle stuff, thought Kate was an absolute mar monster, but maybe William actually drove her insane, and I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Side note, I'm putting out a video about Meghan and Harry are actually winning, right? I guess karma actually came. Um, listen, there's so much going on. Let's just get into this article. And why I do, I'm going to keep the images up of William having the time of his life while every verbal report has said that Kate is gravely ill. I think that pretty much means she's not going to be back by Easter. 
She cannot show her face. She cannot talk. She cannot make statements. This is coming from Kensington Palace, the royal sources. Her family is, does not know where she is. Her mom is not allowed to talk to her. Nobody knows what's going on except the people in the palace. And all the people in the palace are letting us know that... Um, and all the people in the palace are letting us know that um, Kate, Kate, the Kate that everyone's worried about, including her mom, is busy photoshopping photos, not even photoshopping, making Frankenstein AI manipulated photos of some of, of, of a picture that William supposedly took Friday. Y'all, you can't make this up. Let's get into it. What is an absolute psychotic mess like a, 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 a psychotic mess like you look like a psychopaster who oh, listen are there hamsters wearing goggles and lab coats running Kensington Palace PR right now is this what they think they finally want to go back into let's act like nothing's going on they are the literal embodiment of that meme where a whole house is on fire and there's a hamster at the computer going do 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 nothing to see here anyway let's get into this cuz okay so this is william's new plan since the whole world has told him you cad how can you leave your wife all these divorce rumors swirling let's not forget that william went out of william is a coward too He's a coward. This is like a lot of ego and cowardice combined because he's making sure that Kate, Kate Rose's name is not to be mentioned in any media articles. I do want to say this. I agree with you guys. Kate is prettier than Rose, but you know what? I don't want to this to turn into who's pretty or who's not pretty. Because honestly, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When I said Kate looked like curdled milk, I was talking about her soul and what she allowed to happen to her mixed race sister-in-law and the way she basically tortured Megan and took glee. I still haven't forgotten the all-white Christmas when she was exposed as the royal racist. But honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you look. No one deserves to be treated like this. And to think that Kate signed up for this, I just don't think that she thought once she had fulfilled her goal, she would be put out the pasture like this. Listen to this. This is disgusting. Kate Middleton and Prince William were facing issues over her parents before hospitalization. Now, when you read this, keep in mind, William is a billionaire. If you don't know how much a billion dollars is, go do put it into TikTok or whatever. Um, uh, example a billion dollars with bags of rice, and they will show you that if each grain of rice in a ten pound bag, about twenty pound bag of rice, is a hundred thousand dollars, they literally dump like seventy three or eighty twenty pound bags of rice in a pile, and that is a billion dollars. Kate's parents owed $2.5 billion. Imagine being married to the future king where your parent, where he is a billionaire and you can't help the family out. But again, now I don't think it's Camilla. Now I think William is the one that leaked that info because he was setting the stage. He was setting the stage to leave Kate. Now, interestingly enough, there's an article from 2019 after the Rose Hanabury affair rumors came out, but before they were squashed, there's a, a whole thing in the Daily Mail in 2019. That's why people think that Rose is divorced. She is not divorced. Where after the affair was exposed, Rose went to a state dinner alone, dressed to kill for the English Aristio. Like, you know, their dress to kill is not our dress to kill, right? But for an English Aristo dressed to kill, she went to a state dinner dinner where William and Kate were, okay? William invited her. Single, her husband, who allegedly has a boyfriend in France, right? Um, I guess all the Aristo ladies are just nothing but breeders for the bloodline, right? Her husband was still in France with his roommate slash boyfriend. Um, he, she went to the dinner alone. 
She was dressed to kill and her ring was off. I think that was her Camilla moment. She said, baby, I made my choice. And it's you, William. And William was like, coming muffin. Did you bring the tampons? Because <laughs> you know his daddy. That boy is anything like his daddy. But William's probably like, I'm my own man. I want the maxi pad. I don't know. William just seems like he says something cringe like that. Anyway, um, but don't forget in 2019 when she took a ring off and Kate looked so despondent, like she just wanted to look at pictures around that time. That's the saddest I've ever seen Kate look. Rumors were swirling. She was humiliated. But what happened? I'll tell you what happened. The pandemic happened. The world got shut down. Nobody could leave anybody, right? Nobody could leave uh, anybody. So, right? Um, what ended up happening? They stayed together for a little longer. They stayed together for a little longer. And now he's tired of it. Now he wants to leave. Now he wants to be out. And I guess he wants to be out. Before Charles kills over, because like I said, no matter if you come from common blood or not, you cannot dis divorce a sitting queen or a sitting king. Which I don't know, when it comes to Kate, it kind of makes me think maybe rejection is protection because you really don't want him to get into his bloodline bag. And I'm not talking about the people marrying their cousins and procreating. I mean, the fact of when you couldn't divorce a sitting queen, what happened after that? If Kate's smart, she'll stay away from the tunnels. Anyway, Kate Middleton and her husband, Prince William, were reportedly at odds in the months leading up to her ab abdominal surgery due to her parents living beyond their means. Imagine having a billionaire husband who's family basically sacrificed everything to raise you to be a vessel for the crown. Say what you want about Kate. There's been no rumors. I mean, up until now about her cheating, disrespecting him, not being up for the job. She really let those people break her and put her back together. Would I have done it? No. But Kate was trying to secure a future for her bloodline. She comes from the people that really believes in that. And William allowed that to happen. Do you know how much ish Kate ate, and I'm not even feeling sorry for it. even I acknowledge you ate a lot of ish. A bombshell report claimed that uh, the Princess of Wales, hold on. A bombshell report claims that Kate and the royal family were taking flack from smaller creditors who said they trusted the Middletons because of their ties to the throne, only to find out they couldn't cough up the cash when the bills came around. If they're so mad and these people, do you know the British royal family right now is worth over $400 billion? Are you serious? King Charles was outraged as financial and public relations disaster is leaving egg on the monarchy's face since Kate is the future queen. Then why didn't they just pay them off? They knew it was coming. The cost of, oh my God, do you think they were all angling to get her the hell out of there? Maybe Charles has sympathy about being people being trapped in loveless life, marriages. The cost of living increases in COVID-19 pandemic played a factor in the financial woes of Kate's parents, Carol and Michael, who stacked up $3.2 million in debt due to the sky-high amount they were forced to sell off their party supplies firm. William embraced his wife's family as his own and looks like a fool said one insider, while the company exec told the publication they also felt betrayed. Let me just say this. And this is how bad the Kinson and Powell's PR people are. I don't even care for Kate and the way she treated Megan. And even I can say, William, this is the wrong road. You are literally, and your people are trying to get us to think that the reason a billionaire divorced the woman that gave him three kids, stood by his side, did whatever she needed to, basically broke herself, is because the family owed $3.2 million? You're, yo, this is William's best thing to make us understand why he divorced Kate. This is going to be Charles and Diana all over again. And you know what the funny thing is? 
I'm not even a fan of Kate, but I'm not going to get behind anybody doing this to a woman that's been a mother, that's been a maid, and did what the system told her. William, l listen, the enemy of my enemy is my friend right now, baby. William, you looking mighty friendly. The massive number included more than 265000 to RBH Bank, $1.7 to unsecured loans, $552,000 to other creditors, and $743 in taxes. Tipster said they were spending foolishly after the daughter married into the royal family and their party store paid the price. You know what's so disgusting about the royals? Disgusting. You guys have $400 billion. You can't even support the queen's family. You're going to let her parents be penniless? Oof, that has to hurt. They William always looked at Kate as trash makes me think that's why she was so evil because she was stuck in a loveless marriage where everyone, not just William, looked at her and treated her like trash. It was a tough pill to swallow as it was something the Middletons worked on as a unit. Pippa wrote, now they're trying to take all the Middletons down. Pippa wrote our Party Times blog. James did the cakes when he first left school and Catherine developed our first birthday and baby category. This is when the mom was talking about the business. The ordeal has claimed to put also put a strain on Kate's relationship with William. An insider said the Middletons would certainly not be begging with tin cups, but their financial failure likely seems means all the talk of them receiving a royal title just went out the window. So the future Queen of England's family can have royal titles. This all unfolded in the months leading up to Kate's ab surgery in 2024, following which she has remained out of the limelight by recovering. Concerns have been fueled in recent weeks, however, that the princess has weathered not one, but two Photoshop scandals, as many speculate over her health. The palace has insisted Kate is doing fine and will give it back to her duties after Easter. Y'all, this is disgusting. Disgusting. Now, on one hand, that last sentence also, though, I do want to say, makes me think, are Kate and Carol angling to be like, you can pay us to go away. But I don't think so. I don't think Kate could be paid to go away. She sacrificed too much of her youth, her happiness, her beauty, her smile. She has three children. She has truly given everything to that country. And this is how that piece of ish repays her. I will say one thing, right? It's that old saying, first they came for your neighbors and now they're coming for you. Everything. They're doing right now in the Kate they wanted to do to Megan. The only thing is Megan had a husband that literally, literally grabbed her and their baby, her baby and ran in the other direction and did everything he could, even sacrificed everything he'd known to protect him and his family. Yo, rejection is protection. Rejection is protection. I bet Kate wishes she had... um. I bet Kate wishes she had been um, nicer to Megan because Megan would be the one going through this right now, not Kate. That's a sick thought, but I bet you she wishes that. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. I'll talk to you later.